Man, you too, you too, man. What's good? You see my face again. It's your boy Tom. Protect fam, what's good? Protect sport back with no deal today. Today, I'm about to break down the league in its entirety. I'm going to give you my six best teams in each conference, in my opinion. I'm going to uh, seed them accordingly. And then um, I'm going to give y'all some playoff predictions. Maybe a Super Bowl winner. You never know. Let's break down the league. Let's start with the AFC. All right, man, the best in the AFC, in my opinion, is the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens have been putting that work in. A, this Molly Wap, Deshaun Watson, the Texans today. They just whooped the Patriots. You know what? Last week, they spanked that ass last week. So, and they just been on fire. LeVar Jackson, number four touchdown performance. Um, Mark Ingram been running the ball really well. Mark Andrews has been catching the ball. Um, I, they ain't need no Hollywood today. And they ain't no Hollywood. No Hollywood today. I think Hollywood was chilling, but they still put that work in. <laughs> Young, this offense in Baltimore is ridiculous. They're putting 40 burgers on everybody. You want smoke, you might get 40. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So I, I think I think the Baltimore Ravens right now are the best in the AFC. I think the Chiefs, bro, Chiefs, Patriots, they want smoke. Baltimore's coming for you. Yeah, they're coming for you. Yeah, 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 you. They coming for you. They at your net. They like these. Gonna choke you out. Watch out. I think Baltimore might go to the Super Bowl. Is it 2012 all over again? Might be better than 2012. 2012 won 10 and 6. These boy might win 14 games this year. Woo, Lord. All right, <laughs> enough, enough. All right. So I think number one team in the AFC right now is the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, right behind them is the New England Patriots, in my opinion. Um, you still have Tom Brady. You still have Bill Belichick. Uh, the B&B winning factory is my boy, Louis T. likes to call them. Um, I just call them the unstoppable duo. <laughs> um, they, 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 it's Belichick and Brady, man. As long as you got the B&B guys out there, you always got a shot. I still think they're better than the Chiefs, in my opinion. Still think they're better than other teams in the AFC as well. Um, next, uh, Baltimore, New England. And I think Kansas City is right behind them as well. Um after those two teams, those first two teams, it's kind of like a drop off, a little drop off, you know what I'm saying? Um, but there's some other good teams in the AFC too. Um, but definitely the Chiefs are right there as well. Um, I think the Chiefs have a really good football team. Um, you have you have Patty Mahomes and Tyree Kill and Travis Kelsey and all those guys, and um, the Kill Harmon's another guy that um emerges a number a number two number three guy receiver. Um, they haven't got Sammy Watkins back healthy yet, but I think when Sammy comes back, you got Nikhil Harmon and Tyree Kill. That's a lot of offensive speed that you really can't handle. That's ridiculous. That's a lot of offensive speed. Goodness gracious. And, um, and Williams running the football as well. Um, defensively, and defensively, they're so, they're so bad defensively. I just don't think they're going to make the Super Bowl, I'll be honest. I think this team is going to make some noise in the postseason, but I just don't think they're quite a Super Bowl contender yet. Outside of Frank Clark, they don't have reaction much of a pass rush. Outside, outside of him and Chris Jones, only two guys you trust for the pass and rushing the passer. And then the secondary, Rashad Breland and Kendall Fuller does not look that great. So, um, two former Redskins corners, I would know. I'm a Redskins fan. Um, so, I definitely made it the very best team in the, in the AFC. Um, they're not quite second and definitely not the best. I think the Ravens would actually beat them. They play them head to head. So, um, so you have, uh, Baltimore, New England, Kansas City. Um, after that, I have the Indianapolis Colts, um, as the next team in line. Um, they literally just molly whopped, molly whopped the Jaguars today. I might be talking a little hyperbole here, but the only games they really lost are, uh, teams that are better than them. <laughs> for real, for real. Um, either that or Jacoby Brissett got hurt in one game that Brian Hoyer played in and they lost. But outside of that, um, outside Brissett injury, a re injury of Brissett or anything serious, I definitely think that Indianapolis Colts is a contender. We do have to see how Marlon Mack looks. He just did, he did get hurt today. We got to see how he looks after um, after MRI comes back and everything. I hope he's okay because um, Marlon Mack is such a big part of that team. It's not a not a pass first, pass first, uh, pass happy offense anymore. It's more of a run first, get gritty, get dirty type of offense now. And um, then you have Jacoby Brissett come out the play action fake and hitting uh, T.Y. Hill and hitting Paris Campbell, um, hitting uh, Zach Pascal, guys like that. So um, 
I do think he's very integral to their offense. He's a very intricate part of the offense. I hope he's healthy. We don't want to see too many injuries. Um, I, I really hope Martin Max is okay. So I wish him the best. I hope he gets healthy. But I definitely think I have the Colts in my number four spot. Now, those are my four best teams in the AFC. I think those, those four teams will win their respective divisions. Um, now, these are my wild card teams. This is tough. Um, there's a lot of teams can make the playoffs in the AFC. Like this AFC is wide open for the wild card spots. But um, a team I'm looking out for in the uh, AFC wild card is the Buffalo Bills. I have them as my fifth best team in the AFC. Um, Josh Allen's looked pretty decent. Um, the run the running game with Devin Singletary has been pretty good, and uh, a combination of Frank Gore as well. Um, John Brown's been okay. So has Cole Beasley's been pretty solid. They're pretty solid at receiving court. Nothing really great about them, but they all do have their roles, and they do their roles very well. Um, defensively, they're really good. They're defensively, they're, they're no joke. To Davis White, them boys are no joke. Like, they're defensively, they will gap your quarterback. They force turnovers. Um, they don't you run. The run defense is a little suspect, but outside of that, their passing defense is really, really good. And um, they get to your quarterback. Sorry for the pause there. They can get to the quarterback and they can play really good pass defense. Their run defense needs to be a little, a, a little more work. Um, I seen the Redskins run on them a little bit. Adrian Peterson had 100 yards in the first half against them when they played the Bills a couple weeks ago. Um, uh, the Patriots ran the ball a little bit against them. Um, just other team teams that run the ball a little bit against them. So I'll be the Eagles ran all over them. So the run defense has to get a little better because if their run defense get, c continues to have um, chinks in arm, chinks in their armor. That could really hurt them in the long term. Um, if I think the Houston Texans are the sixth best team in the AFC, set up Deshaun Watson, set up New, Ho New Hopkins. Um, outside of that, though, offensively, they're kind of, eh, first of all, Will Fuller. Eh, um, and then defensively, for J.J. Watt, is very, like, mer really merciless and a bunch of guys that kind of does hurt your pass rush a bit. Um, the secondary is, eh, 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 eh. So, it's really the Sean Watson show in um in uh, Houston. I do like Duke Johnson as well at the running back position. Um, but outside of that, bro, like it's kind of tough over there in Houston. Um, they have a good football team. Don't get me wrong. They have a lot of really solid football players. They have a lot of really great football players. But definitely, Deshaun Watson does um does is the equalizer in a lot of matchups. I want to say. So those are my six best teams in the AFC. So I would um I would think at the end of the day, at the end of the season. I do think that the Baltimore Ravens will have the number one seed in the AFC playoffs. Next will be the Patriots, uh, Chiefs, um, Colts, Bills, and Texans in that order. I think those are just six playoff teams in my opinion. Um, so the Patriots and Ravens will have a bye. Um, the Chiefs will have to play in wild card weekend, as well as the Colts, uh, Bills, and Texans. They will all play um, each other in whichever order that they're seated in. Um, so right now I have the Texans at six seed, so they'll play the Chiefs. Even as for the um, the four or five match will be the Buffalo Bills and the Colts. Um, I would have the Colts beating the Bills in my opinion. And also I would have the Texans getting a butt whooped by Patrick Mahomes and the, and the Chiefs. Um, so uh, the Chiefs will go play the Patriots, and then um, I would have uh, the Colts. Play the Ravens. I think the Ravens are a better football team than the Colts, but don't sleep on the Indianapolis Colts. Their defense is actually pretty good. I think they get Malik Hooker prep pretty soon. I think they I think I think they have Jamal Sherry back. Don't don't quote me on that. I think they have him back already. Not sure. And I think Darius Leonard's going to be back here soon, or he's already playing now. So um don't sleep on the Indianapolis Colts, especially the uh, their defensive unit. Really good defensive unit over there. Um, especially when they get their all pro guy back, uh, Darius Leonard. And I think they had Jamal Shear back, like Malik Hooker, um, uh, Marcus, uh, Marcus Hunt, and guys like that. They can really, really stuff the run. And actually, get to the pass it too, actually, which is pretty good. Um, so, uh, with that being said, and as like I said, I talked about their offense already with Pascal and uh, Hilton and Paris Campbell. And, um, heck, Devin Funch has been, but whenever he emerges from whatever, if he's on IR or not, IR, I don't know, but we'll see. Um, and Marlon Mack and the other state were running backs like uh, Jordan Wilkins and um, Naheem Hines, guys like that. They have a nice little state with running backs too. And um, I like Jack Doyle also at the tight end spot. So 
they have a lot of things I like in Indianapolis. I think they have a really good football team, but I just don't think they're quite good as the Ravens are, especially with Lamar Jackson's comp comp complex offense they run. And um, something that's hard to stop right now, it's it's very reminiscent of the 20 Washington Redskins offense, where you have uh, Robert Griffin III, one of the 50 series, also known as a zone read, such free option. But they have so many things come off that zone read. Back then, you really only had like the, the RPO and stuff like that, but you have so much now. You have the zone read, you have RPOs coming off that zone read, like the play action fakes. It's so, so, so hard to stop. And there's so many formations they do out of, it's ridiculous. So I think that confusion will get to the coach's defense. And I think the, the Ravens will have their way eventually, especially running the football. And then once they run the football, they go play action fake with Lamar. I mean, Lamar is just going to have a field day. Especially hitting, especially hitting guys like Hollywood Brown and Mark Andrews and uh, Hayden Hurst. And yeah, it, it, it could be a long day for the Indianapolis Colts defensively. So, and then, the, and then the Ravens defense is pretty good. Marcus Peters been out there catching pick sixes. And um, it, Jimmy Smith's back now. And they have a decent little pass rush going on with, Mac, uh, with, uh, with Judah and them boys. So, I think they're a better team than the Colts. So, I think the Ravens will win that game. So, now you have um, Patriots and Chiefs. I. I had the Chiefs pulling the upset in Foxborough, actually. Um, this Patrick Mahomes is such a special player um, that it's it's an equalizer against a really good organization like the New England Patriots. And also, I think the New England Patriots' offense is kind of slumming out a little bit. And with that being said, if their offense can get together before the end of the season, which I don't think they will be. I think they'll have, they won't be in shambles, per se, but they won't be the same offense that they were with Tom Brady. I think Tom Brady's age is starting to get to him a little bit. Not a lot. I'm not saying he's going to fall off a cliff. No. But I do think his age and attrition is starting to slowly get to him. So, I think the, I think the youngsters going to go out there and make some plays. Um, don't get it wrong. The Patriots could have the blueprint to neutralize Mahomes a bit, but... Mahomes such a special player. I think he'll make just enough plays to get out of Fox Road with a victory. But now you have um, Ravens Chiefs in the AFC Championship game. Um, I have the Ravens winning that game. So I have your Ravens as your AFC um, representative come out the AFC. Now let's get to the NFC Conference. Now this one's a little more clear cut in my opinion, but it's not super clear cut because there's so many really good teams in the NFC that you don't know who's going to divisions. It, it's kind of up in the air. So I'm gonna give my four division winners. Um, my four division winners right now from the North. I'm sorry, it'd be the Green Bay Packers in my opinion. They're slightly better than Minnesota Vikings. Very, very slightly better. It's not a huge difference, but I think the thing that tilts it into the Green Bay's favor is Aaron Rodgers. Um, he's better than Kirk Cousins. I'm a big Kirk Cousins guy, as you know, he's a former Washington Redskins quarterback. So I am a big fan of Kirk Cousins. Um, I do think he's a really good quarterback in this league. But he's not Aaron Rodgers. And I think that would be the difference between them winning the division and the Vikings not winning the division. The Vikings are definitely a playoff team, though. Don't, don't, don't get twisted. They're a really good football team over there. They just came up from a 20-point deficit today, which is ridiculous. So, um, North, North division champion will be the Green Bay Packers. Um, the NFC East champion, I still have the Philadelphia Eagles winning the division. I don't care. I, don't, I, I do not care that the Dallas Cowboys beat the Matthew Stafford list Lions today. I don't care. You're not good, Dallas. No, you're not a good football team. You're still underachieving. You have to show me that you can beat a good team. Until then, I don't trust you with a 10-foot pole. Give me the Philadelphia Eagles to win the NFC East. I don't care the Eagles lose today or win today. I still think they're a better team than the Cowboys. They will see each other soon, and the Eagles will prove that they're better than the Cowboys. They're going to make this run with Carson Wentz and them boys. They're going to they get some guys back from injury, and they're going to finally win this division. So have the Eagles win the East. Now, the South, not really tough. Um, Atlanta sucks. <laughs> um, Carolina did not look good today, boy. Um, Atlanta's not a good football team, but they just won two straight. Um, you look at the uh, Carolina Panthers, they they look like they're probably cooked, honestly. Um, I just don't think they're a playoff team anymore. Sorry. Like, Cal Allen with a terrible day. Four picks. You gotta play better. Um, and then finally, you have uh, the the Bucks are not really a good football team either. So definitely, the Saints will win the NFC South. And then um, I have North, South, East, and we have the West. The West is interesting. Now the West is very interesting. Um, that division's up for grabs. Like it's a toss up here. Seattle's right on their coattails in San Francisco. Seattle's here, and um, Seattle, um, San Francisco's here. 
and see how it's right there. Like, like right on the coattails. Okay, it's kind of like a drag race. San Fran going 140 miles an hour. Skr, 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 skr. Seattle kind of chilling, going 85. It's like, you know what? Let us turn up a bit. Go 135. You know what I'm saying? Texas will look at Seattle like, no, we got them. We good, bro. Start slowing down a little bit. Start going 100, maybe 90. And they say, oh, what's going on here? Scott! <laughs> So, I'm just saying, Seattle's on San, San Francisco's coattails. So, that division's up for grabs. But, but, I'm going to give San Fran a nod. Because they have a half-game lead. And on top of that, they play a couple more weaker opponents than the Seahawks do. I'm going to take Seattle to win the wild card spot and San Fran to win the division. So I gave you two spots already. The first wild card spot belongs to the Seattle Seahawks, and then the NFC West champion will be the San Francisco 49ers. And his last wild card spot. Woo! This is interesting. This is interesting. 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 Um, actually, it's not. The Minnesota Vikings get the last NFC spot. So, those are my teams right now. Um, Saints, I mean, that's no particular word at this point, but uh, I think the playoff picture in the NFC is a little more clear um, outside the NFC West champion. But outside of that, I think it's pretty clear. So, your North champion will be the um, Green Bay Packers. Your um, South champion will be the New Orleans Saints. Your West champion will be the San Francisco 49ers. And then finally, yeah, so your, your NFC East champion will be your Philadelphia Eagles. Um, your wild card teams would be the Seattle Seahawks and the um, Minnesota Vikings, respectively. Now, let's get to the NFC playoffs. I'm going to put these teams seating in order and um, give you reasonings. Um, once you start with the uh, number one seed, I'm going to give it to San Francisco because they have it right now. But I would not be surprised if Seattle caught them. Um, I would not be surprised if New Orleans caught them. Um, the second seed will go to the Packers. So I think, I think those are your two um, teams with a bye in the NFC playoffs. Um, then I have, uh, as your third seed, you you have, yeah, you have two division champions, the Packers and then uh, Packers and Niners, Niners, Packers, respectively. Um, then Saints will be your third seed. They'll play in wildcard weekend. And then your, your Philadelphia Eagles will play in wildcard weekend as well as your fourth seed. Um, Seattle will be your fifth seed and then Minnesota will be your sixth seed. So um, that, that, that's that. So um, with that being said, uh, the fourth seed will play the fifth seed. So you have uh, Seattle playing against um, Philadelphia and Philadelphia because they are the NFC champions. The NFC is so bad that uh, a 9 17 can have a home game, but whatever. We've seen the Seattle Seahawks play a home playoff game with a 7 and 9 record. So it happens. Um, so that's that. Uh, and then your three seed will play your sixth seed. So the New Orleans Saints. We'll play the um, Minnesota Vikings at home. <laughs> revenge, revenge, revenge. So let's get into this bracket. The um, Minnesota Vikings will lose to the um, New Orleans Saints. Uh, one and done for Kirk Cousins, unfortunately. I just think um, revenge, revenge, revenge. Um, Minnesota Mig Minnesota Miggle does not happen in New Orleans. And um, the New Orleans Saints pull out a... Very tough victory, a really tough football game, nip and tuck game. But I think Drew Brees is this much better than Kirk Cousins. I think the Saints defense might be this much better at rushing the passer. This much better at rushing the passer than Minnesota. And then that will be the difference, in my opinion. Um, don't get wrong, that, 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 that Minnesota secondary is pretty good. Um, uh, they, Rhodes is starting to fall off a little bit. But um, he's still he's still a pretty good corner, but he's not a fall off a little bit. So I think Michael Thomas can have his way with him. I don't remember why I picked him up uh, since that game. Next on um, the four five matchup, um, we have uh, who I said I said uh, Seattle and Philly and Seattle Philly. Seattle's gonna beat the crap out of Philadelphia. Just 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 give me Philly, just, just, just give me, uh, the Philly to lose this game. Um, give me Seattle. Sorry. Um, Carson Wentz is a really good quarterback. I do think that Philadelphia Eagles have, do have a good football team. 
but they're so riddled with injuries right now. I don't know how much healthier they'll be, be they'll be before that point in the season. I think they already had their bye week, I think. I'm not sure. But um, I just don't really think they're going to get super duper healthy anytime soon. They'll never get Deshaun Jackson back this year. Um, and that was really, really, really intricate part of their offense. And him not coming back, you can't really stretch the field that much. And on top of that, um, Jordan Howard, I want to see how he looks at D coming from his injury. If he does come back, they signed Jay Ajayi. I just, I just don't know how their dynamics of their offense is going to work. But I know what Seattle does well. And they have a bread and butter. Philadelphia does not. Philadelphia kind of is like a jack on high type of team right now. So, I'm going to take Seattle in a, um, not a blowout, no, but I think they went by a possession or two. Uh, I'll say a, probably a score of like 30 to 21 or something like that. There we go. That's probably a nice final score for that game. Nip and tuck, but uh, Seattle kind of runs away late. So, that's how I see that one. So, Seattle will go to go and play um, the uh, no, low, no, the highest seed. So, they'll play on. Um, Sanford in a division matchup. They'll play this show for the first time this season. If it asks for New Orleans, they will go play uh, Green Bay in Green Bay. Have the Packers win that game. Um, I don't think New Orleans is going to play that great outside of New Orleans. Um, they'll, they'll be in a really tough game with, uh, with Green Bay, but I think, like I said, Aaron Rodgers is um, the equalizer to everything in these matchups. And I think the Green Bay defense can get to Drew Brees, especially with um, Jadarius and Preston Smith. They've been playing some really good ball, especially early in the season. But as of late, they haven't played as great. But I think they'll step up and make a few plays and um, allow them to win this game. So I'm going to move the Packers to the NFC Championship game. And I have Seattle upsetting the um, San Francisco 49ers in um, San Francisco to advance from Levi Stadium to the NFC Championship game. Now we have a rematch. Woo! I think this is the 2014 NFC Championship game when they played uh, Seattle. Rematch! We got a rematch. Woo! It's going to be a good one, boys. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. This is going to be nip and tuck there, boy. I don't know who to pick in this one. Hmm. Give me Seattle. Give me Seattle. Give me Seattle. Give me Seattle to upset Green Bay in Green Bay to go play the Baltimore Ravens in the um, Super Bowl against the Baltimore Ravens. Give me Seattle to win the Super Bowl. Russell Wilson wins his second Super Bowl in his career and proves that he's one of the best quarterbacks in this league and maybe might even be your best guy in the league. Give me Russell Wilson, Seattle to win the Super Bowl. So that's all my predictions for the six teams in both conferences, how the playoffs will go. And I gave you a Super Bowl champion. Um, comment your thoughts down below. It's sorry it's a longer video than usual. Um, thank you guys for viewing the video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Um, like the video. Turn on post notifications. Hit the subscribe button, like I said. Um, you hit the subscribe button. There's a post notification bell right next to it. Hit the post notification bell. Share this video with your fans and family. Allow homes to let them comment their thoughts about who's going to win the Super Bowl in their opinion. And put God first. Stay out the way. You guys enjoy, the, enjoy your entire week. Um, have a blessed week. Keep grinding, guys. Protect sports family. Strong out here. Let's get it. Seattle is Super Bowl, baby. That's what I got. I got them Seahawks. I got them Seahawks, baby. That's what I got. Who you got? Who you got? Who, who you got? Huh? Who you got? Comment down below. Take these guys. Peace.